thanks for tuning in. My name is Esalyn and today I want to talk to you guys about natural ways that you can reduce or eliminate ovarian cysts. Uh, before I get right into it, I just want to ask you guys if you can please subscribe down below, give me a thumbs up, and also make sure you comment if you have any questions, please share your story. I want to start with my personal experience. Um, I was having some pelvic pain and I went to my gynecologist who did a transvaginal ultrasound um, and when she saw the ultrasound she s noticed a cyst that was big, uh, bigger than normal so she asked me to come back to see if the cyst had grown and she said if it keep, continues to grow um, I would need to do surgery or hopefully it'll just go away on its own. Um, so anyways, when I got home, I was just like, I really don't want to have surgery. I really hope that this doesn't get any bigger. So I looked for different ways that I can either um, make it go away on its own, reduce it. Um, so basically, I'll share with you guys uh, some of the things I did. But most of the times, w women who have cysts have no idea that they have. This has happened to me many times. Um, I remember previously, I, like, I had went for an ultrasound. And she was like, oh, you have an ultrasound here and here, but um, they're still small. Like, it's not any, any uh, concern if it grows, however it is. Um, you know, it could be a cyst the size of an almond, um, you know, and it can grow even bigger. Um, but there's different signs to look out for, and I had no idea. Um, but I was experiencing, my last visit, I was experiencing, experiencing some of these symptoms, and I had no idea that it was related to this, to um, ovarian cysts. So one of the big signs is uh, pelvic pain, which I was definitely experiencing. Um, it just felt like pressure, like a lot of pressure in my, my pelvic area. I know some women experience a lot of pain after sex. Um, if a cyst ruptures, that I've experienced that, and that is extremely painful. Um, and usually after it ruptures, you like I'll get sharp pains and like it, I remember like I was curled. This happened to me two or three times, um, and I remember I was just like curled up. Like the pain was so bad, and I then later um, once I vomited and twice I just got really really nauseous that I wanted to vomit, but I didn't. Um, but that is normal if a cyst ruptures. That is the pain that comes with it. Uh, followed by nausea and um, you do feel a lot of pressure uh, but at the time I had no idea that what I was experiencing was like a ruptured cyst um, you know but I learned this like eventually when I did some research um, after my doctor you know told me that I may need uh, surgery for a cyst that I had at the moment so um, bloating is another sign um, I wouldn't go off bloating alone because you know when we during our um, cycles we you know sometimes we're bloated during our menstruation we're bloated but if you're having pelvic pain with bloating that's definitely uh, something to look out for um, another thing that I did experience was pressure when I was urinating so you just feel it like in your ovary um, it just felt like just pressure you know on my ovary um, you know and I did tell this all this to my doctor um, she said that this having a cyst especially if it's a big cyst can cause infertility so um to me that was like obviously that was alarming so i wanted to do something anything um to help either reduce um and i had a lot of inflammation as well so i wanted to do something to reduce it and ultimately eliminate um, any ovarian cysts that i had so here are some natural options that you can do um first eliminate excess estrogens so anything like um, if you drink out of plastic bottles of water change that and start drinking out of glass bottles of water um, if you warm up your food in a microwave like in a you know plastic container make sure that your pla your container is not plastic and use glass containers instead um, so I just did like a little bit of those things um, also things toxins that you put on your skin um, so as far as like your your face creams any skincare makeup things like that that you use on a daily basis lotions all of those things contain chemicals and these are things that we put on our skin that seeps in um, and create 
excess estrogen. So you want to look out for things like that. You can also check out my um, a view, a previous video that I did and I will um, leave it at the end of the video. You guys could check that out on skincare. Um, so also soy, try to eliminate uh, and reduce your soy intake. Um, if you drink soy milk, change that to almond milk, coconut milk, oat milk, any of those are great. Number two is DIM and it helps support the body's estrogen balance. Um, here's the supplement that I take. And um, you can find uh, this on Amazon. I'm going to leave the link down below on the one that I use. Um, and what it does is that it balances uh, your bad estrogen, any excess estrogen, with uh, good estrogen. So next, next thing is systematic enzymes, supplements that you can take. Um, you can do your own research on it, but I highly recommend it. Um, it's something that helped me tremendously. And um, so I'm going to show you the one that I take, and it's Fertilica, and you can get that on uh, naturalinfertilityinfo.com. And it's the supplement right here. There you go. Uh, Fertilica. And basically, you take um, three capsules daily on an empty stomach, at least 45 minutes uh, before meals with water. So I highly recommend this. And what it does is that it reduces the size of the cyst um, or it eliminates it altogether. And it, it worked for me. And again, guys, I'm, I'm talking about my um, my own experience. It definitely worked for me. Um, and it when I went back to the doctor and did an ultrasound, my cyst was gone. And like I said, it was you know it was a fairly big size. And when I went back, it wasn't there anymore. I highly recommend looking to systematic enzymes, especially if you suffer from always getting cysts. Um, definitely look into this. Uh, it's a great way to reduce and or eliminate uh, your cysts for you. Also, another thing um, that I did was I did castor oil packs. So you just, I'll leave a link down below also, and um, you can get castor oil packs and you could just put it on um, your pelvic area and it increases circulation. Um, it also removes any um, excess tissue that you've had from previous um, cysts uh, or you know it helps clear the area of toxins and like I said it, it helps um, circulate and bring um, circulation and um, and blood flow to the area so I highly recommend looking into oil pa um, castor oil packs and again I'll leave the link down below um, however do not do any castor oil packs while you are on um, while you're menstruating um, it is not recommended, so please wait until you're off your period and then you can start your packs after. So these are just some natural things that I did to avoid surgery or any scar tissue or things like that. Um, if you have any questions, please comment below and I'll be more than happy to chat with you about it. Um, I do highly recommend talking to your doctor about this. Um, if you're having any pelvic pain or any symptoms, you know, just uh, give your doctor a call and talk to them about it. Um, I do want to thank you guys so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and comment if you have any questions as well. Um, I'll see you guys next time.